In tiny house living, we usually have to make dual use out of everything. And uh, so a lot of time a couch it folds out into a bed at night. In Victorian tiny house living, now and as they did in the past, uh, you have to make it period style. So I was doing a lot of research about uh, convertible beds uh, because I didn't want to have to climb up into the loft. And I came up with this. Uh, it's a reproduction of an 1862 bed that's in a museum in Brooklyn. Um, the proper Victorian parlor almost always had a piano. It's, the, it's like having a big screen TV in our living room or den today. And, uh, but after your guests left, you sent your kids up into the loft to go to sleep, and the parlor had to become the bedroom, like this. And here you have it, a big and comfortable full-size bed in the middle of your little tiny house. Thanks for